Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. We're on the farm, we just did a few drifties with uh, that truck and we hit a bunch of guys. But now that's over, let's get back to the running, hiding, shooting stuff. And possessed machines. A bunch of stuff has happened. Whew. A bunch of weird stuff happened. Oh, do I get off here or do I go on? Yes, I get off here. What's that? I'd known the brothers used oh. to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Al! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! Ah! God damn! <laughs> nice. Oh. Ooh, bigger flashlight. You Nah. Come on, man. Just give me a gap. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone. Shut up and shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow! We have to fight nope. him off! I can turn off one of Cannot heal. This is a problem. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no, no. 
So far, this is very fun. Is that it? Please tell me that. Oh, that was fun. It was, again, irritating because of the smaller dudes, but it was fun. Wow. Big explosion. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hoo wee. Yes, I know, I know, but boxes. Okay, let's go. Berry. Well, that was fun. Oh, there. Is my cut bestseller? No reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambush me. Hmm. <laughs> We have a very big flashlight now, and I like that even more. I jumped. Damn it, man. I'm this close, this close to ending. Oh my, that was my fault. That was my fault. But I'm this close to just ending it. To just, like, skip. Don't. Only make another video of the end of the game and like skip the race, cause. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything, and if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. <laughs> it makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. Okay. <laughs> I could just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> <laughs> he got you good, Barry. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So sleep. We all 
I'll spend oh, a few more night drinks spray. in the soft embrace. Somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Life. Ooh, is this one of your episodes? In night spray. I don't know. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Ah, that's by someone else. We dream this to Oh, could we talk to him? I don't freaking know. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Valhalla. What are you? No. So. <sighs> now do I? Now I have to do it all again. Nah. Uh, can I? Cannot change the difficulty because this, this is stupid. I hate this now. I freaking hate you. Now come back here, you little shit. Yeah, serves you right. I'll be right back. Um, we're going to skip this. Welcome back, guys. Uh, sorry about that. Huh. Feeling pretty good about now. 
It would be very nice if we could, like, finish this. I I'm really sick of it already. My flash eyes bigger than yours. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? The door was barred from the other stuff. side. I'd have to find another way. Okay. Okay, let's climb. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I Bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. Can't talk about that, Lord. I wasn't gonna say anything. I'm just saying we could know other irons. could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Okay. It's a chainsaw, man. I want the chainsaw. Okay. Either exit there or let's see. Nope, that's the only exit. Okay. Oh, now the tractor's alive. Oh, what the hell? this but I'm no queer we're gonna try and finish this episode and then maybe after that I'm gonna decide if I'm still gonna play or not because No, no, no. Oh. 
Let me guess, he didn't even save. Yeah. Oh my. Mm. Those little guys. Okay. Now that's over. Thank you. together to open this gate now looks pretty heavy how do I help you oh uh. hey I think that's the farm on the other side of the field we're almost there this farm is a crazy place for crazy people we should feel right at home then Yeah, we're all a little bit crazy. Oh, bitch, it's my holla. Nice. On, one more gig. Let's do this. That's cool. Fish Viking shields. Viking ish roof. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. And where the hell is the fuse box, Barry? Power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Downstairs, it's upstairs, dude. Kind of All the guards know yeah. the truth. Keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot, so they can get wasted. No kidding. Those guys sound awesome. Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. Okay. Can I? Uh, I can't do anything with the guitar. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be. What's her face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be.
Cool. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I, too, would <laughs> drink. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. <laughs> Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? <laughs> what do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just <laughs> miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, passed out. Okay. Warning. This is weird. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out of body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember Alice? being surprised Alice? to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I need to go there. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Well, oh, she's actually in the Jagger cabin. Had Alice, and so she had been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Huh? Was I right? She didn't actually fall the in? Dark she dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Upstairs. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. 
She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. That crow's eye is a camera. The story will come true and all. Because we see this in the, on the TV the entire time. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. We done? Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making Damn. sure the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zeng was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my Barbara a long time ago. She looks so old. Okay. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. So this is what actually happened. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. So that is what happened. This is how it all happened. Okay. I'm now here. I understand. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. What? We didn't do anything to you. Previously, I need to escape. Lake. Under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault and you're gonna pay for it. Pay for what exactly? Well, Episode we're five. We're near the end. From the neighboring counties, naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, "What's the big deal about Deer Fest?" And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece. All right. I love it. So 
someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Mm. Always in the light. In the light. In the light. Okay. So we still need to find her. But now All we're in jail. Were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Oh, wait, we're in jail now. Oh, hell. Hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. Nothing came out, dude. Never drinking again. Uh. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song, the Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al. But we're stuck here. Went? Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we can see. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well. I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> 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 Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... <laughs> My God! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh man. Let's quickly listen to this. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it, but it all rang true, impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. Sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Damn. Okay. Emergency power on. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. That will maybe be the last video or the second last video. Bye bye. <laughs>